Bonakam, Guten Abend, and a very good evening to one and all. Yes, you hear it right, coconuts. <laughs> With over 67,074 million coconuts produced every year by almost 90 countries across the world, which account for almost 46% of the entire globe, these humble nuts account for almost 1% of the gross domestic product of the entire globe. And there are almost more than 30 products and byproducts which are obtained from these humble coconuts. Just a moment, I just keep on adding the good facts. What is the actual problem here? There are a lot of time and cost consuming methods in highly equipped laboratories which actually test the coconuts, assess the quality of the coconuts once they are broken open. So, actually what happens is, due to the lack of a proper mechanism for testing or assessing the quality of coconuts prior to breaking them open has left industries with, to meet with several losses. In fact, the presence of just two to three percentage of non-rancid coconuts in the raw material which industries are using, it affects about almost 65 to 70 percentage of the end product quality. So it is ultimately affecting the economy, which just reflects back to these 46 percentage of the entire world. So here's what we have done. We have taken the age-old traditional method of knocking the coconut and testing whether it is good or bad, and we just amped it up a notch with our technology. So it has a striking mechanism, which just knocks the coconut, which obviously produces a sound. This sound signal, as per our research, has multiple frequency components in it. And these multiple frequencies actually vary for different types of coconuts, which are good, bad, and spoiled ones. And these things, this sound signal is then captured by highly sensitive sensors, which is then processed for amplitude and frequency analysis using our processor. And this amplitude and frequency analysis, which we have done in the laboratory results, you could see up here, which, which would obviously prove the point. And this simple thing, which is actually, which might play a day to day, which might play a role in our day-to-day -day lives, actually can ultimately revolutionize economy, agriculture, food industry, and technology. And that's it. Let's innovate, and let's make the world a better place. Thank you. Thank you.